that guitar that you are holding. Can you tell us a little bit about it? I actually, Sam just, just Sam just commented on it, um, but it looks cool. I love that finish. That color is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seems rather unique. So this is obviously a little bit different guitar than most people are used to. Um, and I have to say that, you know, for years I built all my own guitars. So I taught myself woodworking. Uh, at some point I built a few guitars totally from scratch. But uh, over the last few years, I built guitars from parts just because I wanted specific specs. I wanted specific fret sizes, specific uh, neck, you know, neck size, uh, just everything specific. I wanted specific pickups, how the knobs are laid out, etc. And I got really into ergonomic guitars. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not, you probably tell I'm not a flashy guy. I don't really care about anything about showing off. In fact, I'm, I'm the, I'm the opposite, right? I just want to stay in my bedroom and play guitar all day. Um, and then of course, you know, answer questions like this and talk about guitar. That's always fun. But, uh, I'm usually, I'm always in search of efficiency and long story short, um, I haven't actually bought an off the shelf guitar in, in maybe 10 years to be perfectly honest. But uh, there's a company called Strandberg, and I've been following them for uh, for a few years, uh, just because they make ergonomic guitars, and the way that they make the guitars is very, it, like I said, it's ergonomic. So everything is meant to be efficient. Everything is meant to make you or to help you play easier and help you play better. So I'll just point out a couple of different things and why this guitar looks funky. First of all, um, I'll just point this part out. This looks like maybe a shark took a bite out of my guitar. <laughs> And that's literally just so I can rest it on my on my knee. So if my knee's right here, I can just rest it like that, right? And plus, it reduces a bunch of weight. There's no reason for a guitar to have wood right here. Same thing with this part right here. There's no reason for this wood to be here. It just exists, and it's heavy. And personally, I've I've honestly had back problems since seventh grade. And um, let's say I go to a concert or something, I literally cannot stand up for five minutes. I have to squat down. Uh, I have to go sit in a chair or something. And it stinks, but it is what it is. So uh, part of it is wanting a light guitar. I, want, I really wanted a light guitar. And as you can see, there's no headstock here. Now, a lot of people hate the way this looks. Um, again, I'm not so concerned about looks. Looks are important in terms of what inspires you. Like, does your guitar make you want to pick it up and play it? That's very important, in my opinion. But uh, I'm not so concerned about having a super nice guitar or anything like that. Uh, I just want something that feels good, that inspires me to play it. So headstock, I don't have tuners up here. There's a lot of weight that's not up here. It doesn't make my neck want to dip down whenever I put a strap on. So that's um, that's another thing. And there's there's something that's going to blow your mind in a second if you can see it in the light. But I just want to point out a couple of other things. So there's no tuners here. So where are the tuners? Well, the tuners are actually right here. So there, there, there are these little knobs. And uh, I can turn these knobs to tune the strings. So the ball end of the strings actually goes through this way. And the string uh, clamps and those little, I guess, I don't know what to call them, little clamps. Um, you can screw those little screws down and you just cut the strings off. It's really easy to change the strings. And a couple of other things. Uh, sounds like we've got some motorcycles outside. Sorry about that. There you go. It sounds like a pit bull or something. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to look at the frets. Can you notice anything about the frets? Yeah, yeah. They're nice and uh, like angled. They're angled, yeah. So as you notice, as my hand goes this way, the frets start to angle a little bit. And that's what's called fanned frets. What happens is, here we go, I got the, the whole guitar there. If you notice the bridge is also at an angle, it's actually the, sorry, the screen is backwards, so it's hard to figure out how to, <laughs> this is a brain exercise, makes me a better guitar player, I guess. Um, man, this is tough. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh man, this is really tough. You guys should try this. Anyway, you can see how it's angled. Um, what happens is there's two things a byproduct is whenever i move my hand i'm a human being right so whenever i move my hand and i leave my elbow in the same place my hand naturally uh changes angle right if i'm playing up and down the neck my hand naturally changes angle if all my frets are parallel well i have to do something weird like this and it's hard to stretch and it's hard to reach all the frets up here but if i have these fanned frets while well, i'm playing and then my hand naturally kind of goes along with the fan See that? It's more ergonomic. That's actually just a byproduct, though. The most important part of this is that the strings, the bass strings, are longer uh, from here all the way to, man, this stuff. There. The bass strings are actually longer than the treble strings. 
which means the bass strings, since they're longer and they're still tuned to the standard tuning to the same pitch, they're actually tighter. So it means like the, the sound is snappier, uh, deeper, tighter, et cetera. And then going toward the treble strings, since they're shorter, they're actually not as harsh. They're sweeter. Um, there's the, the overall tone is a lot more balanced. And if you ever look at a grand piano, a grand piano has that weird shape on the back. The reason it has that shape is because the bass strings are longer than the treble strings. So that it has that weird shape back to extend the length of the bass strings. So this sounds a little bit more like a piano because it's a lot more balanced. It doesn't quite sound as out of tune like most guitars sound. A very little thing I'll point out is the actual back of the neck. And surprise, surprise, it's not round. It's a trapezoid. There you go. So if you notice that there's a one flat spot on the back of the neck, and uh, it's also the flat, well, sorry, there's three flat spots. In fact, every side is flat. So this side is flat, this side is flat, and this side is flat. So it's three flat sides. And on the very back of the neck, we have this, let's see, right there. We have this uh, perfectly flat spot. Now, any guitar that I've played over the past, let's say, 10 years, I've always sanded a, a flat spot on the back of the neck. Why? Just because when you, whenever you put your thumb on a flat spot, your fingers are much more relaxed. Your forearm is much more relaxed, so you can actually play faster. When you put your thumb, and you can try this. If you're at home, if you're, if you're near the edge of a table that's round, put your thumb on the edge of the table, just like this, and try to wiggle your fingers. And what, you're, what you'll find is there's more tension in this part of your forearm, and that prevents your fingers from moving fast enough, and you're like you're really tense, right? A lot of a lot of guitar players grab the neck, and they really uh, uh, struggle with a lot of tension. I, I struggled with a lot of tension for a long time. So uh, if you're doing this little exercise on the edge of your table, like I said, find something that's round, put your thumb on it, on your fretting hand, wiggle your fingers. It's going to be a little tough, and then go find the flat part of the table. Put your thumb on something that's totally flat, and then wiggle your fingers. You're going to find that it just feels more. It's, it's easier. It just feels easier. It feels more relaxed. So um, this, the last thing I'll say is this, the middle flat spot right here, if you notice how it angles up as it goes down the neck, I don't know if you notice that. Yeah, 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 I see that. Okay, so the reason for that is that whenever you play the guitar, uh, normally when you're playing chords down here, look where my thumb is. As I shift my hand, my thumb naturally goes more toward the back. So that little flat spot, that's on the back of my neck actually starts up here and it goes down this way as I go up the neck. And all of those things together just make it a very, uh, you know, a lot more ergonomic guitar. It's a lot lighter because there's not more, um, there's not so much stuff on it, you know? And um, a lot of people hate it and it is what it is. I don't, I don't like when people hate my guitar. I mean, who wants that? But uh, a lot of people hate headless guitars. Some people might remember Steinberger guitars from the 80s or I think the 70s maybe, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Hey, you do you, right? Because this is, this is what I like. So. I think it's a cool looking guitar. The back reminds me of like a like a Lamborghini or something. I don't know. It's just a, <laughs> a back. Yeah. Was, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the sharp edges and yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome.